in today's camper van chat I'm going to be talking to you about something that none of you do which is driving badly but there are people who do drive badly and I'm going to talk about an, a survey that was done by the Automobile Association in the UK which found that two-thirds of drivers believe that they can get away with offences such as tailgating, lane hogging and uh, other nuisance driving uh, because th there's lack of police on UK roads. And the AA survey involved 19,500 people and uh, we looked at things such as use of mobile phones while driving, driving a vehicle which is in dangerous condition, not wearing a seat belt and other things and people believe that they can get away with it because there's a lack of police. Now the uh, organisation uh, found out that the number of traffic officers has fallen by a third in 10 years from 3,766 in 2007 to 2,643 in 2017. So what is the chance of being caught and punished? The AA asked in the survey on a scale of 1 to 10, where 1 is no chance at all and 10 is certainty, how likely or not do you think it is that a driver committing each of the following offences on the road in the area where you live would be caught and punished? So, careless driving, which includes tailgating and middle lane hogging, that's 65%, driving a vehicle in dangerous condition, 55%, using a mobile phone, handheld obviously, whilst driving, 54%, not wearing a seatbelt, 49%, not stopping at a red traffic light, 44%, drug driving, 43%, driving without insurance, 42%, drink driving, 36%, speeding, 36%, and driving in a bus lane, 33%. It's quite shocking to think that people can think they get away with driving in a bus lane, which is really with the amount of cameras in the UK uh, all over the place. You now, I can sort of half understand that, uh, I don't agree with her, of course, but I half understand that somebody thinks they're going to get away with drink driving. But um, that doesn't show on the, on the cameras. Anyway. So drivers were also asked about their perception of police visibility on roads in their area. Two thirds of drivers felt that there was no visible presence on local roads compared to more than two thirds who claimed that there was no police presence on motorways. When asked about alternative ways to enforce the rules of the roads, seven out of ten said that the cameras alone cannot police the roads. However, there was some limited support for allowing other parties to assist the police and traffic enforcement. Less than half, 45%, said Highways England traffic officers could be given more powers, and a third said allowing community support officers who issue fines for littering should be asked to assist the police on policing the roads. Edmund King, who's the AA president, said it's rather worrying that uh, so many drivers feel that a lack of police officers on the roads means that they think they can get away with uh, breaking the law and uh, or even just careless driving. He goes on to say that the Automobile Association, the government, are keen to stamp out uh, people using mobile phones whilst driving but more than half of people feel it can be done with little chance of punishment. Indeed I think and I'll ask you what you think on this as well but it seems to me that just about everybody talks on the phone whilst driving. I would add that I don't but um, I think it's uh, told I'll stop the van and, uh, and I'll ring the person back but uh, I won't uh, Unless I've got it in a position where it's on, uh, I've got it on speakerphone, which is quite often the case. Uh, anyway, but even so, even when I've got it on speakerphone, I'll, uh, I'll I'll stop it at the first uh, opportunity in order to carry on the conversation. Having said that, you know, even yesterday I was out and saw saw somebody overtake me in the town whilst uh, being uh, whilst talking on the phone. And I was driving at the you know the legal maximum, so uh, obviously it doesn't seem to bother some people at all. Now, do people want more police on the road or not? I mean, but because with these questions being asked, it sort of suggests that people do. But at the same time, 
they seem to th most people seem to be breaking the law anyway and they seem to think they can get away with it. Now, finally, I think I'll, I'll finish with my own opinion, is that people will say that you know, the speed limit, oh, that it's safe to do 90 uh, kilometers now, that is, when, when the limit's 50, and they, and they believe that something's, oh, my, my vehicle's good enough, or, or it can stop in time, or, or whatever, which is often uh, not the case, how can they know, and all the rest of it. I have seen statistics that show that most accidents are caused by stupidity, people believing that their abilities were better than they really are and uh, that is why I believe that the law needs to be absolutely respected.